MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events and special offers via Video Media. I'm in Bedfordshire today and I'm at Emerald Precision and I'm here to look at an installation of a new Fanuc 5-axis machining centre. This machine here behind me is a 24,000 RPM spindle machine. It's a very, very high speed 5-axis machining centre. In fact, this investment here is the, is the biggest investment uh, Emerald Precision have made in their milling capacity since the company was founded. So I'm going to talk to Gerald here. We're going to look at some of the components and we're going to assess how much time this machine has actually saved them in their production. So good afternoon, Gerald. Hi. Gerald, let's start with this uh, plastic component here because yep. this is one you mentioned to me earlier. Yep. I think, uh, to summary, to start with, how much time was it taking you and how much time is it taking now? Then we'll look so at it. It's taken approximately 20 minutes. And it's always difficult to say because you've got you know, manual changeovers in between you know, the various different sorts of operations. OK, so, and what is it taking you now? It's approximately six minutes. Wow, so that's 25% of yeah, the cycle right. time. So did you know that that was going to be the type of saving that you'd make with this machine before you bought it? Uh, not that quite a big uh, time saving but we expected it to be at least twice as fast. Now it would be fair for me to say that it's not just the spindle speed that's made the saving it's the fact that you've now been able to do uh, more operations in one hit would that be correct? Right, yeah that's right. Okay can you talk us through how many it's taking you now? So this particular component was taking approximately seven operations and now we've got it down to two operations. And those operations are, is there any angled holes on here as well? Yeah, we've got one angled hole here which is drilled and tapped, uh, but the rest is straight 3 plus 2 machining. Okay, okay. So we're looking at a huge saving there, 25% of the time that's taken. Moving on to this aluminium casting that you've got here, yeah. I, I quite like the fixture in you've got on here as well. Did you do that yourself? Did yeah. you design that? You have to get quite creative when you're doing castings. Yeah. As, um, you know, it's, um, you've really got to just start with... Um, a basic set of jaws and just hack everything away till you can get to what you've got to get to. Okay, and that's what you've done here. Basically, yeah. <laughs> and, and looking at this, again, let's, let's talk about cycle times because that is one of the biggest factors with yeah. this uh, new D range of Fanuc machines. What did this used to take and what does it take now and how do you go about machining it? Okay, so um, before it was two operations. We did a, a face this way and then a row three axis here. Uh, it was approximately, again, uh, 25 minutes. And now we're down to about, it's less than six minutes. So similar yeah. to the plastic component. Right. Now, out of these two components, is this two of a, a family of parts that you're now doing on the machine? We don't do any particular type of component. We do all sorts of things. We're just general subcontract. OK. And now, away from the component tree, on the machine itself, what, what, what do you like about it? And what was it that drove you down the path of this Fanuc machine? Um, I think it's the speed of the machine, really. It's um, very, very fast, even on the rotary axes. A lot of our rotary axes are quite ponderous when you look at them. This one, you blink and you miss it. Because that's one question I would ask you, that with a, you can buy lots of five-axis machines, uh, and a lot of them are integrated. But this one here, you've got a two-axis table that's put onto what is traditionally known as a three-axis machine. That's right. Do you see that giving you an advantage for flexibility? Yeah, we do. One of the things that we've done uh, on this machine, we haven't had a chance to use it yet, we've actually uh, can tilt the rotary round uh, so if it was a conventional four-axis machine and bolt a platen uh, between the uh, face plate and a trunnion, which we've got. Oh, something between centres? Yeah, so we can run a plate between centres and we've got a particular job we want to put on which will run on all four sides of that component. OK, 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 so that's flexibility. Yeah. Technically, I know from talking to Fanuc, because we've reviewed this machine a few times, yeah. the actual two-axis table that they use here is a direct drive as well, so there's a lot less wear, apparently, and, and, and more accuracy, would you agree? Um, as far as accuracy is concerned, I've not had any issues at all with that at the moment. I've not really done anything that I would say has really pushed the accuracy uh, that we've really needed to see. But to be fair, with the savings that you're making on these particular yeah, right. components with the rapids and the spindle speed on this machine, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure you're happy. Oh yeah, very happy, yeah. And your swarf extraction, that's another point. You've pushed the boat out on that one too as well. You've got a big swarf extraction system. Right. Yeah, well, long, long time ago I bought a machine which didn't have a swarf um, management system on it and it was a nightmare. And since then I've sworn whenever I buy a machine it will always have good swarf extraction on it and it's always paid dividends since. And when you come to programme parts like this, how, how do you go about that? Do you do this at the machine or have you got some software? 
Uh, we do a bit of both. We uh, will either program on the machine, and it's got some features on it which are quite nice to use, some like programming aids, um, or we just um, program straight on the, um, the PC. We have got a CAM system as well, which okay. we use for the more fancy parts. And this is your first Fanuc machine? It is, yeah. Will it be the last? Probably not. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, Gerald, for your time. It's been a real education. No problem, thank you. So there you have it. You can see that if you're interested in cutting cycle times by as much as 75% like Gerald has here uh, at Emerald Precision, then the Fanuc D21 Li A55 axis machine in centre should be a consideration. Just to summarise, this machine has a 24,000 RPM spindle. It's the high power version. It is a BT30, so it can cut more than just castings uh, and, uh, and plastics. It also has the latest Fanuc control, a 21 station tool changer. Uh, you can have the machine with through spindle coolant like they have here. The two axis table that they have on this machine can be taken off and put back onto the machine depending on the type of table that you go for very, very quickly thanks to uh, Renishaw probing and cycles within the control. So this is one of the latest uh, generations of Fanuc machines. It's had a huge impact on the business here at Emerald Precision. And uh, if you're looking for a machine in centre that's compact, powerful and a real performer, then consider the Fanuc D21 Li A5 5-axis machine in centre. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.